Hi there folks, today I'm going to show you how to make a quick Google form for collecting student responses for content that they've created where a URL or a web link has been generated. That might be a YouTube video, it could be an audio recording, or it could be something like a blog, any other type of web content that they've created that has a link. So from Google Forms I would go and click on create and then select form. And I've got a form started here called Crokit Audio Recording. Crokit is an app that is available for iPad and Android that allows you to make a quick recording of 30 seconds or less and will generate a web address or a URL at the end of that time that can be shared. So I'll ask the students to submit their last name and first name and I'm going to add a field now, just a text field that says paste your URL here. And I'll make that a mandatory question and I'll click done. And though this will be the only three fields that I'm going to have. Now I'll click save. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to come down here and I've got a very long URL here that I don't want to share with students because it's just uh, too difficult to have them type that in. So I'm going to copy that now. And I'm going to go to a website called tinyurl.com and that lets me take long URL addresses and then shorten them. I could click on make tiny URL right now and it would automatically give me a shortened URL but I can also do a custom URL. So I'm going to call this one Crokit and as long as that's not being used by anyone else that should be what I'll be able to share with students and that was successful. So that's what I'm going to write up on the board or I might share that on a website um, that students would use then from their iPads to submit their recordings or even from a computer device if they were making the recording there. So here on the iPad I'm going to open up my audio recorder and I'm going to click on Crokit. I have a recording that I've already made here and you'll notice that I have a link that can be shared and I'm just going to click on copy and that's going to take the link and put it into my clipboard which then I can share using the web browser. So now I'm going to go to Safari and I'm going to type in that short URL so I'm going to type in tinyurl.com forward slash Crokit And now I would put in my name. And then in the field where it says paste, I do the press and hold. And then click paste. And click submit. And I'm going to go back now to the form that we created. And I'm going to go take a look at the spreadsheet that's been created by that. And you'll see here's the student's name, in this case me, and here's the link that they shared. And if you had several students in your classroom, groups, whatever, submitting their recordings, whatever that might be, then you could click on that link and it will take you to the file that they created. This will work with YouTube videos, as I said. And this will also work with an app. Uh, the Screen Chomp app, which is a nice one for making quick screen tutorials from the iPad. Uh, again, the advantage of some of these sites being that you don't have to create a sign up or an account. And so this is just a very fast way to have students creating content and sharing it back to the teacher and saving those results.